to the other prognostic parameters. We talked about vascular invasion. I'm particularly interested in the depth of invasion and how do you measure it and where do you measure it from and are there is there are there consensus guidelines in terms of uh, how one performs this measurement because clearly this has become a huge issue. Uh, I you know I've realized that we I simply can't use the standard ruler approach and uh, put two dots with a dotting pen. So we've actually moved to because we have a Phillips system we scan it in the Phillips system that allows us to measure things more precisely. Yes. But then you can get very precise, but the question is, where do you measure from, you know? Yes, that's right. And of course, there are potential problems, aren't there, with, um, with you can measure on a digital system to you know, 100 millimeter in terms of the, the, a line on a, on a section, but of course, in reality, your potential error must be much greater than that because are you sure you're measuring absolutely the deepest level? How many levels have you looked at? How well orientated is the specimen? Um, and also, if the muscularis mucosa is splayed, where do you measure from? If the surface is ulcerated, where do you measure from? So these are all caveats that we have to do our best and use our professional opinion to, um, to work around. Um, so, so it, my, my understanding is that if the muscularis mucosa is intact, you measure it from the, the muscularis mucosa, and if the if you do not see an intact muscularis mucosa, you measure it from the very top of the epithelium. Uh, would that be correct? Yes, I think that's that's fair. That's right. Of course, um, you have to make sure that you're looking at what you believe to be the most appropriate level. So doing levels will be helpful. And you also have to be as confident as you can be that your section is taken perpendicular to the surface of the lesion as well. Because of course, it's very easy to end up with a digital measurement that looks very accurate, but there are potential errors there, quite apart from the ones that you've just alluded to, with splaying of muscular mucosa of fibres and ulceration of the surface. I mean, here, for example, um, it would be quite easy to, to take a measurement from here, maybe down to here, for example, and that's a 2.6 millimetre depth. Um, and then maybe from over here and across to here, that's just over two and a half millimetres width in this section, but that is only part of the lesion here. So, so we have to be careful about, I think, implying that we can provide a higher level of of accuracy with these with these measurements just because you can see a screen and see that it says 2.5 <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, but that's that's the way we do it. and I think this was very useful for that other people have actually experimented with looking at the area yeah. of the invasive tumor now there maybe some caveats there as well of course uh, similar ones to uh, those that might apply if you're looking at the tumor width um, however, all of these things, they, what we're trying to do is to get a feeling for the, what the in three dimensions, of course, is the volume of tumour and therefore um, the likelihood that the tumour has encountered and extended into a lymphatic or vascular space. So it's almost, it's almost giving a, a chance, isn't it, or, or a, a probability, essentially, indirectly, of of the likelihood of lymphatic or vascular invasion by saying, well, there's this much tumour in the submucosa or there's yeah. this much tumour. So I'm going to get very granular. So this is a question that a fellow asked me. We were measuring from the muscularis mucosae and the muscularis mucosae was somewhat reduplicated. Yes. And uh, if we took it from the top of the muscularis mucosae, we exceeded a thousand microns. If we took it from the bottom of the muscularis mucosa, it was less than a thousand microns. Um, I, I know this is sort of an insane sort of a situation, but that's the reality of things, right? Mm. If we exceeded a thousand microns, the surgeon was planning to do a colectomy. If it was less, mm. no colectomy. And so the question is, where do we measure from? What would, what would you suggest? Ooh, it's, it's difficult, isn't it, in that setting? Um, 
I suppose that uh, I suppose you'd also have to make sure that when the other adverse features that are going to push the conversation towards collect me anyway, that would be yeah. something what the first thing to say, poor differentiation, obvious lymphatical vascular invasion, right. things of that nature, like those in this case. Um, but if you're just relying on the depth, then that is quite a difficult um, conundrum, isn't it? I mean, I suppose what you could do is to cut some more levels and see if it becomes more obviously yeah, over right. the elsewhere. That would make sense. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. But I think that's a very good question for which there is not an easy answer. <laughs> right. I mean, that's the, that's the reality of things, right? One simply cannot account for every uh, situation. One can never get that granular. And so I think my my argument always is just use common sense. Just w w one final question before we move off this image, and uh, I'm going to show you a, a challenging case that you helped me with. Okay. Would you measure the depth to those to that lymphatic invasion? I haven't done that actually. No, no. I, I was I would in this case I think measure the primary tumor.